nitration. So we're going to have benzene. So nitric acid supplies the nitrogen source and sulfuric acid acts as a very strong acid. In fact, it's the boundary between strong acids and what are referred to as super acids. Um, so if you will, it's the weakest of the super acids or the strongest of the strong acids. This results in nitration of the ring. All right, so how does this occur? Well, first we need to recall the structure of So there's nitric acid, and for H2SO4, for simplicity in the illustrations, I'm just going to illustrate it as H+. Now remember, I can't just pull an H+, off the shelf, but sulfuric acid is my equivalent for H+. So what happens is, sulfuric acid is such a strong acid that it protonates nitric acid. Yeah, let me say that again. Sulfuric acid is sufficiently strong as an acid that it protonates nitric acid. And this is an equilibrium, of course, and produces this plus species. Now, I've drawn this in a very specific way. I put the plus charge over here out of the way. Of course, the plus charge is spread over the molecule. But if I were going to put a formal charge on this, where would we put the formal plus charge? The formal plus charge would go on this oxygen. But what I want you to notice is, what is the molecule in the dashed circle? Well, that's water. And water makes a good leaving group, right? Stable molecules make good leaving groups. And so this leaves the NO2 cation. And this is our electrophile Remember our electrophile here that reacts with benzene. So I'm going to redraw benzene down here. Remember benzene is going to act as the nucleophile reacting with our electrophile. And that is always the slow step. You'll hear it referred to or see it abbreviated RDS. That's rate determining step, the rate determining step, so that's the slow step in the reaction because we have loss of aromaticity. Pi bond attacks the nitrogen. Nitrogen, of course, being a first or second row element can't exceed the octet. I have it drawn with eight electrons, so I have to lose two electrons. Now overall, that is a plus one species. Now, have I balanced my charge? Well, remember, I decided to illustrate sulfuric acid as H plus and brought it in as an H plus. So when I did that, I caused my formal overall charge to be plus. So it's plus, 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 and plus. 
But I'm going to bring back in now, for illustrative purposes, we need a Lewis base to pluck off the proton, right? So what would it be? Well, what's the conjugate base from sulfuric acid? It would be SOH. Right? That's the bisulfate anion. And so what I want you to recognize is I said sulfuric acid is the boundary. It's the weakest of the superacids or the strongest of the strong acids. But our carbocation here is sufficiently acidic to protonate, to give up a proton, that bisulfate, which means that this is a superacid. Now, this, of course, gives us our product. And I'm not going to redraw it because it's right up here. There's our product. If you will, I'll draw the arrow all the way here for you. So, that's nitration. This is an important mechanism. Make sure you know how to generate the NO2 plus cation.